Welcome to the Writer's Journey Podcast. I'm Michael Laron, a science fiction and fantasy author on a journey to go from nobody to bestseller, and I'm documenting every step of the way. Tune in every week as I pull back the curtain on my writing life and how I'm building a writing career while working a full-time job, raising a family, and attending law school classes in the evenings. You can find show notes for this week's episode, a free starter library of my fiction, and much more at michaellaron.com. Enjoy the show. Hello, and welcome to episode 46. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the process of creating what I think, if I had to look at my career from a big picture perspective, historical perspective in the last five to six years, is probably one of my biggest accomplishments. And so I'm going to be talking about the Urban Fantasy Book Database. So many of you know that I am currently working on a project where I am launching a new pen name in the urban fantasy genre. So launching a new pen name, I'm doing it in public, I am um, being 99% transparent with everything that I'm doing in order to create this book, and if that wasn't enough because I'm just a glutton for punishment, I'm actually creating a course for writers around this process, and it's called How to Write to Market Without Selling Your Soul, because one of the biggest one of the biggest uh, issues that writers have is, do I write to market in terms of what readers are expecting, or do I follow my heart and write the story that I want to write? And I don't necessarily know or believe that that is a big of a conflict as people think it is. And so I am on a mission to try to figure out how I can write the story that I want to write and also sell a lot of books. <laughs> so we'll see if that actually works. But um, one of the things that's come out of this course is me just trying to figure out how, how I get my own house in order, you know, because I'm, I'm doing this in public, so I really have to make sure that all my ducks are in a row and, you know, the risk of, of, of failure is very real and I very well could fall on my face. And, and if I did, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I certainly would have some egg on my face. And so I'm really trying to make sure that everything I'm doing, one, is, is instructive, two, is beneficial for the writers who are following along, and three, at the end of the day, is helping me write a killer story that readers are going to love. And so it's been this really interesting balancing act. Like, I think... You know, if my if my microphone were a person, we we would be getting to know each other really well because I feel like I'm recording something every day, <laughs> like it's either the writer's journey or yeah. so. I, I, anyway, I'm I'm rambling. So I'm I'm doing this project, and one of the things that came about of the project was learning how to become a student of the urban fantasy genre, and what does that look like? How it, how if I got single minded about urban fantasy and if it was the only thing that I read, if it was the only thing that I thought about on a daily basis, what kind of benefits would that provide me? What kind of advantages would that give me as an author in the genre who only wrote urban fantasy? And so in order to become a student of the genre, I developed a list of books that I wanted to read. And, and that was cool and all. And I uh, got books that were from the, the best selling authors in the urban fantasy genre, both traditionally published and independent published. And no worries there, right? I mean, that makes sense. If you're going to write in the genre, you need to read in the genre. And so I got about 20 books in. It took me about a month. And I realized, you know, I'm not going to be able to read every book in this genre <laughs> as much as I want to. It's just not going to happen. Uh, I, I can read two to three books a week, but it, it's just not seriously going to happen. So I, I thought, well, what if I started developing a, developing like a, a spreadsheet of books that I come across where I can just kind of slot them into it, and that way I kind of know what the book is about without necessarily having read it. So that way if I need to I don't know, refer to it in marketing later on, I could do that. And so then it got me thinking, well, but how would I put the books into a spreadsheet? Because, you know, they're all marketed as urban fantasy. So then that got me thinking, okay, is there a way that you can classify urban fantasy books better than how they're classified on Amazon? If you go to Amazon these days, it's very tough to find urban fantasy that is not paranormal romance or reverse harem. So I thought, okay, I'll do this for myself, but it's going to take me a really long time, and my time is better spent writing. What if there was a better way to do this? What if what if the spreadsheet was public, and anyone could make submissions to it, and, and then authors and readers could both benefit from it? I went through a couple of different uh, 
a couple of different ideas, but ultimately I ended up with a spreadsheet and, and a classification system for urban fantasy that is based on the way that people read. So it's based on uh, the series name, it's based on the supernatural type of the character, it's based on the character's profession, it's based on the actual subgenre, and so you can filter the spreadsheet based on that classification system. So if you want to find all the books with necromancers, then you can just do that with a click of a button. And so I took the prototype to um, a few friends, and one of my friends, John P. Logston, he is a programmer, but he's also an urban fantasy author, um, wrote me privately and said, hey, I, I love this idea. I would love to work on it. Um, I'll program it into my website, and then we can co-brand it, and then we, we're both offering services. Because he runs the authorhelper.com, which is a, a podcast and a blog for writers, but he also owns a killer service called Reader Links. Um, if you have, if you're a writer and you haven't um, checked that out, please check it out. It's, it's fantastic. And so he was on my radar for a little while, and so we started talking. And I, I sent him the prototype of my database, and he programmed it into his website, and it is awesome. <laughs> like it is awesome. Like it is, it is the best tool. Uh, definitely that I have developed in my writing career so far the, the spreadsheet it just it works so well and it's a database so it's not like an Excel spreadsheet which is what it was originally going to be and right now it has over a hundred books in the database and most of that is from authors and their readers which is really cool so I'm just excited to know how many books are actually in the urban fantasy genre and I'm excited about the fact that we have created a discoverability engine right so we keep talking about discoverability and how readers discover books this is you know our attempt at, at, at providing a solution for that and the database is completely free there are no affiliate links in it um, it's a, just 100 percent public service announcement and public service uh, act from myself and from john and and, and ben uh, zackheim who's john's john's business partner and the other cool thing about it is that anyone can make recommendations to the database so if you look at the database and you're a hardcore urban fantasy reader and you don't see your favorite series in there well by gosh you can just click a little button fill out a form and then it'll be submitted and voila and another beauty of the database is that i am um, maintaining it so Every submission comes in, gets approved by me personally before it shows up in the database. So I am policing it very, very carefully to make sure that there is no paranormal romance because urban fantasy and paranormal romance are not the same. <laughs> there's no paranormal romance, there is no reverse harem, and there's no erotica. And nothing against any of those, you know, the paranormal romance or reverse harem or erotica. They're, they're fine and fantastic genres, but I think the struggle with urban fantasy readers is... They want something that's truly urban fantasy. They're not looking for a reverse harem or paranormal romance. Urban fantasy writers and readers are just are loving this, um, and they're loving what it could possibly and potentially be. Um, so that's why I'm chalking this up as one of my greatest accomplishments so far. I'm not resting on my laurels, trust me, <laughs> but I am pretty proud of this. This is a really, really cool tool, and I definitely couldn't have done it without John P. Logston and Ben Zackheim, so um, major shout-out to them, and I'll throw some links to their stuff in the show notes, so be sure to check them out. And I will also drop a link to the database, as well as a link to the video that I recorded that basically talks about my the process of how I actually went about creating this. So I don't recommend that anyone other than writers read watch this video and I don't recommend that anyone who you know just wants a high level stuff to watch this video this is very detailed <laughs> probably more detailed um, than anything you want to see from me but I believe in documenting and, and, and getting my thought process out there so if you like to geek out over stuff like this then you'll definitely want to watch it Thanks for joining me this week. If you like this episode, you'll enjoy my backlist episodes at michaelleron.com slash podcast. For your free starter library of my favorite novels, join my fan club by visiting michaelleron.com slash fan club. If you're a writer and you want to connect with me further, check out my YouTube channel, Author Level Up, for helpful writing advice at authorlevelup.com. Thanks for listening, and I'll be back next week.